everybody and welcome to Heroglyphics Gaming. I'm Mikey Hayes and we are on the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, the Dragonborn Enigma. Uh, okay, so it is um, morning. So how are you guys? I hope you're well and I hope you're enjoying your gaming as usual. I always say that now but I mean it. I really, really do. And uh, yeah, I hope you ha you're, you're having a great time with your games guys. And don't forget, drop us a comment. Let me know how you do. Let me know what your favourite games are, and um, and what your thoughts are towards Skyrim. So, guys, it is eight thirty-six. Let's go. So you might ask where we're going. Well, our first, our first little trip is we're going to go and see Danica. She actually, in fact, I'm going to go this way because sometimes she's in the marketplace now. So let's um, go and see if. We can find Annika Pure Spring because we're going to drop this note off for her. Uh, well, actually, not for her, but um, yeah. Well, she's not here. I can't see her. Let's just go up. Actually, it is the, the it is the cursor is actually pointing into um, into here, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. Hopefully, she'll be in the Temple of Kinnereth. She's here, that's good. Let's see if we can pick her up before she does anything untoward, like leaving. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. I have a delivery from Idgrod. Yorick's sister? Poor child. Magic runs deep in that family's bloodline. It's not always a blessing. Thank you for this. Something for your trouble. 600 gold for that. How's the pain? Okay. Grace of Kinnereth be with you. Still pretty bad. That's good. That's good. Patience. So the body needs time to mend. Let's um let's get off guys. So I think basically that counts as we've helped I think we've helped two now. I think we've helped two citizens of um let's just have a little little look at that guys. Yeah, we have. We, we've assisted people at Yelmarch, two of them. So I know what we need to do now. Uh, in fact, in fact, in fact, guys, we can actually take that off there for the time being because we're, we're not going to be doing that now for a little while. We've got other things we want to do. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just have a little bit of a change, a little bit of a break. We, we're we're not we're not on the main quest at the moment, guys. We're not. Um, I don't have we got anything to sell let me just check guys because I, I don't think we have we've got some there yeah, we've got some hunting bows there let's just get rid of them you're someone who can get things done I like that looking to protect yourself or deal some damage just keep collecting these hunting hunting bows off um, Lydia you know I kind of just I don't know. I'm like that, guys. I, I I do. I get a little bit irritated with things like that. The, you know, we don't need that because we can sell them because we don't need them. Yeah, we're good. You can tell like I've had a bit don't of sort out as well. So come on then, Lydia. What we're going to do now? We're going to have some fun, guys. Yeah, it could be quite long those loadouts actually. On, uh, I'm going to actually stick the dragon vein bow on. Um, It's, there's quite a possibility that we, we, we will encounter at least one dragon um, in this particular what we're going to do now uh, I mean one of the things that I'm always aware of guys obviously because this is a full walkthrough channel the, 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 the channel is all about full walkthroughs obviously there will be spoilers in this game you know I mean it stands to reason you can't play the game in a walkthrough, a full walkthrough without there being spoilers and um, so obviously it's par for the course um, the nature of a full walkthrough is the fact that you've, you're walking completely fully through the game so there's going to be spoilers all the time so I kind of it sort of almost goes without saying really or it should shouldn't really need to be sort of said but I just feel sometimes I really perhaps ought to say it um, you you will ex obviously expect spoilers in the game otherwise you wouldn't be able to play it so um i mean i know that seems a bit of an obvious point but you know just sometimes it's um 
yeah, perhaps good just to you know, point out these things. So where yeah, we are, we're going to make our way. I was just looking at that guy running along there. I wonder who he's, where he's going. He's actually coming over the bridge. All oh, right, now they're they're going to White Run. Fine, guys. What we're going to do? Uh, no, not that. I always do that. What we're going to do, guys? We're just going to come down here, guys. We're going to make our way to Shimmer Miss Cave. This is a little bit different and it's really, really, really good. Yeah, it's a little bit different than what we've done for a while. So, uh, well, in actual fact, we've not actually done a cave like this, actually. This is going to be a little bit unique. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab this if I can. Oh, lovely. Come on need more of them, we need as many as them I can get because I will be doing a lot of enchanting um, and a lot of smithying soon obviously when I get to master level I'm going to be preparing armour and arms for all my followers really and, I mean it's going to be basically Feindal and uh, Lydia and it may be one or two others as well um, this is something I do where I create armour, you know, similar armour for everybody. And um, yeah, I like to be maxed when I do it. The only the only problem is it's kind of a, one of them things that like it's, you know, what can you do? It's like, um, you know, I've got to have it maxed out to be able to get the best out of it. But it means I won't increase either. So I've got, I've got to like look at that, uh, you know what I mean? get an awful lot of ingredients from around here but you can also sometimes a dragon attacks you here so we've got to be prepared for that um, I know I've got steel arrows on but the bow is actually quite powerful I'm kind of Got it. Single shot. Um, let's let's get this first, shall we? Because I'll, I'll end up losing it. I know I will. But there is. I knew it. Right, let's get the blade on now. Enough is, enough is enough. Mark for death. Get that on. Get the shield on. Ah. Gone up. Come over here, dragon. Look at it. He's, I think he's chickened out. Right, right, then come on. You're not getting away as lightly as that, matey. You're not getting away with that. Tackles, that's what you get. Ooh, 20%, that's pretty good. Well, a lot of potions in that one. Wow, the love dragon. All right, let's just get a bit of healing on there now. Like I said, guys, I had, I had a feeling that a dragon would attack. There we are. Blood dragon. And that's where he's come from. Here. Right. You've got him anyway. Wow, well, Lydia's becoming quite the uh, the dragon slayer as well, really, isn't she? Where have they disappeared to now?
notoriously hard to get them they really are I was gonna I was saying actually uh, just before the dragon attacked yeah where is it? it's round here isn't it but there's some quicksilver ore around here somewhere as well here we go look at that it's funny how you remember things like this it really is I'm anxious. I'm actually quite anxious really to get into uh, we're gonna enjoy this guy I think we're gonna enjoy this guys it's very different to any other any other cave that we've done so I, I really think it yeah that will do come on I, I really want to get into this now so we need to get for this now we need to get maybe the dragon tail bow on um, and I'm going to um, yeah I'm gonna put some different arrows on we'll let's see we've got elven arrows that they should do we've got a lot of them all right Lydia up for this come on this is a very very interesting cave I, I mean I think so anyway and I rather think that you you'll enjoy this guys I really do so uh, I'm hoping you will anyway um, so yeah if you've never done this before guys no don't put the bow away go into sneak mode that's it right <laughs> okay so what time are we on 11 40 quarter to quarter to 12 well nearly midday but here is one of the reasons why i love this cave as well because we need we, we need this guys we need it we, you know we need loads of it for smithing and look at this shimmer mist cave it's well named it's really really well named but we've got to be very careful in here because we're going to come across an enemy we've never come across before in fact we're going to come across two enemies that we've never come across before obviously we come across these I think there's only one I'm not sure I'd be wrong but yeah we can gather gather guys get as much as this you can even though it's boring i know i mean it could make it a lot easier to pick up and I, that's my big beef with all this really is they don't make it easy for you to pick it up you've got to stand there for half an hour trying to just kind of locate the uh, cursor look at that you see you should have a like a bigger a bigger box area to you know I'm off again anyway I. but you can see there's something different going on here guys something very different and we've got to be a little bit careful here because if I remember right there's a trap here you do have to watch out because we're going to be confronted by a particular enemy in a minute uh, I've got elven arrows on I don't really want to and I don't want to shout either let's just quickly switch them um, to the steel we've also got to think of course as well that it does oh come on come on there's a bead on it right on it it's not doing it not doing it guys or is it broken already I don't know I might have broken it look at that Sheesh. there's no doubt about it guys they could have done it loads better yeah it's got broken already I'm gonna go back on the elven arrows because I think I just need that little bit of extra to it could be that it, it's not that one I don't know I thought it was near the entrance it, it, it is near the entrance I thought I saw it then there we are look at that guys there he is got him There we are. You don't want to get hit with that. <laughs> I don't think there's another one here, but I'm going to put a torch on now. Just explore around here because there's a load of 
dead bandits normally around here. Yeah, here we are. So this is delineates, showing you something here now. You can see this is like insect-like. So here we go again, trying to pick it. It's absolutely frustrating trying to get it. Obviously we got all this. Yeah. Three dead bandits. Alright. There's a few things here. They give you like a little sort of indicator um, early on of what kind of things you're going to actually be uh, facing. Uh, don't know. This is something you do not want to miss. These insect like chests and 15 gold in it but I tell you what they can have some really good stuff in it so you just got to be a little bit careful that you don't miss them it's got nothing in it but toadstools but it doesn't matter make sure Lydia doesn't trap me in all right let's turn that torch off now and let's get back to the um to the dragon uh, well to the dragon tail bow because we can actually soul trap these guys because I'm not sure whether there's another one in here or... I, I don't think there is. I do want to get as many of them as I can guys so... Pardon me if it... Just takes me a little bit of time to get these. So he was on top of here wasn't he? Let's get this here. Because it, it kind of... you almost want to give up in the end. It, get, it just gets so annoying. I'm going to have to use a torch, it's no no good, I can't see a blinking thing. I've got my sword if I need it. But here you go, this now just shows us what we're up against guys. And look, we've got the Falmer. This is a Falmer cave. So I'm going to give Lydia I've that. Got your back. I want to trade that with her. How can I serve you, my thing? There we are. My first Falmer ear that going, I actually got from one I killed and soul trapped. Because they kind of mean things to me like that. It's like special because it's the first one I've come across in this particular video. So yeah, you please forgive me when I get a little, get a little bit laborious like this. Um, I might edit some of this out guys. Um, well we've got all sorts going on here now, look at this. And it's very heavy too, and this is the beauty of having this mod on. Because if you haven't got this mod on you, you're not going to be able to carry a lot of this. Very, very heavy indeed. Right, um, right, so we've got to make our way out of here into this newer... No, not this one. Just make sure I'm going that the right, yeah I am. Let's take this off now and let's put the uh, the dragon tail bow back on because we can do some serious soul trapping in here guys now. It's always a good indicator that, that you've not come down this tunnel if you've been collecting them all. But we do face some rather nasty kind of like critters as well in here. Um, we do. And I just remembered I've got Mark for Death and I think really I need to have more unrelenting force on here. Um, I think oh, we've got another one coming up here. Um, yeah we have just one over here somewhere. Let's just pick this up here first. But there is another one just behind this pillar. Falmer, but I, I think it's a stronger Falmer. I think we're gonna have to be careful. Oh no! Come on! Got it. Oh! Just turn round right at the moment when I was actually losing the arrow. I do wonder whether they actually build that into the game sometimes, where it programs. You know, it ice spikes. Well, well, you literally you just li letting go of the arrow, and then it, it just programs them to turn around quickly. And there's a chest here as well. 
nothing much really worth in it but you've got to be careful because they can have some really really good stuff in and you, you don't really want to lose it got more white cap there right so that was a found the gloom lurker yeah i thought it was so we're picking up a lot of this and obviously this 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 helps you smithing so yeah it gives you big smithing increases as well so with blister wart this is fantastic for smithing and we're going to come to a different part of the cave now guys i think to shimmer mist grotto here we go right here we are in shimmer mist grotto all right Lydia are you ready for this good we got that I mean, hopefully this is a good little excursion. It's, a, it's just different. It's something very different. Right, so we need to get ready here because I think there's a couple of them down here. On the right, there's one. Ooh. Yeah, good. Both down. Right. Got that, didn't we? I think we've got a Falmer, yeah, and a Gloom Merker. But they've got some mint stuff on them, they really have. Goat. Goat horns, great. Need plenty of those. I shall keep on saying I know. And here we go, we've got a, have we got a chest around here? I don't know. Maybe not could be inside actually the chest sometimes it's inside let's let's open the gate it's inside yeah there we are gold ore extreme stamina not bad and we've got eggs chorus eggs so i don't think the chorus i think the chorus eggs so that gives you a clue basically to what we're going to be facing soon not good it's funny how you, you actually find these kind of things together in pockets like these seem to it's I don't know whether it's some like a sort of symbiotic relationship but you do you often find them together and now we, me and Lydia are facing a pretty awful crawl you know a horrible sticky smelly gooey insect like tunnel which is not particularly nice is it really and we can hear them as well for that but it's great for ingredients if you if you're really into alchemy in a big way this is just great for ingredients guys but I can hear, I can hear, like, yeah, listen to that, can you, ho hopefully you can hear that. A horrible insect-like sound. <laughs> We're going to have to be a bit careful here, because it can do some very, very serious damage, poison-wise. There it is. I'm going to keep away from the wall, because... got it and soul trapped it as well so it's 
so look at that all the the way the ceiling the roof is glistening like that yeah it's a yeah chorus re uh, chorus reaper um i think we have come across some before aren't we in the marshes pretty sure we have you can you can actually hear them it, it's gross it's absolutely gross i'm not i'm thinking guys actually here now i'm thinking of changing the bow i'm gonna go on the dragon vein bow i think because i think if i remember rightly these are much much bigger and more deadly I might be wrong, but... <laughs> and Lydia, Lydia just goes like walking right in front of you. <laughs> just gonna kill it outright. Yeah. That's a skeleton. Yeah, it's not not that much. It's the same, isn't it? Some of these bought it big time, didn't they? The other side. Did we get that? No, we didn't. Can we get it? Yeah. I don't need to I don't need to sneak now do I right, I'm gonna get the torch on again now uh, we're kind of done here I right, done pretty well here now we've got a chest here have any arrows good yeah that's good I'm happy with that all righty um, yeah we don't need to get bother crossing there again come on so I'm what I'm going to do now is going to get the other I'm going to put the, the dragon tail bow on now because I think we can still do a bit of salt up in here just want to check just make sure just make sure we got yeah we got the elven arrows on that's good yeah we, we're coming to it now we're doing pretty well we actually come through it quite quickly because it, it suddenly changes here now guys it gets really quite interesting it takes a real turn here totally unexpected turn and Lydia's going on ahead which is not like her <laughs> and there we go suddenly it all changes as you can see actually guys Oh, she's paralysed it. Good. There we are. Found the gloom lurker. Pretty gross things they actually are. Apparently related to the snow elves. At one time. That's something we probably might, we'll probably get into later. But it's suddenly, can you see how things have suddenly changed now? And look at this, very different kinds of ruins indeed. So let's, let's make our way. This is Dwarven. Look at that, this is Dwarven. So suddenly we have a hidden Dwarven ruin here in a collapsed state. Wow, and it just fascinates me. <laughs> it really does. Look at it. Suddenly we've entered Dwarven Ruins. Now obviously nobody knows about. And you can hear it too. Lydia. What time are we on? Come on. It's the time to take a nice break, isn't it? 
there we go right so then let's get the uh, I think really the dragon brain bow is going to have to go on now so we are on 17 minutes past 6 we are entering into this warp and this Dwenna ruin which is in a state of collapse obviously I mean you can see by the way it's leaning it's not good and here we are we have a Falmer sat there gloom lurker and he's down but we have something else now a dwarven centurion which actually we're taking out pretty easy actually yeah perhaps too easily I, I may I may have to start looking actually at my level um, I think it's on the depth by default I may change that now to experts I think because we're getting to that I think we're getting to that point now really where it's kind of becoming a little bit too easy I, I think I may have to give that a serious look now guys uh, I don't think there's anything in here but there's some pretty good stuff around here so yeah we've got this family gloom lurker there we are taken out in the head look at that actually well side of the head maybe and a dwarven centurion centurion dynamo core and oil yeah so that's good from the centurion um, and we've got a chest here as well look at that Dwemer the helmet of major ultra mind it is enchanted which you know as you know I don't go for heavy boots that's good the stat yeah hardened armor great another ebony sword and a step of ice storms that's that's a good haul oh, excuse me Lydia right behind you I'm gonna do the same thing again come on I am sworn to carry your burdens only little ones only little that's okay I'm fine with that good you lead I'll follow she should be pretty happy with that because I'm, I'm not I'm not giving her too much she's gonna grab all this Oh, there we are and we do have we sometimes have let's get the torch and I can see what I'm doing but yeah it's, it's just an interesting little um, sort of jaunt a little something a bit different there's normally some kind of a little shelf or little unit around here somewhere where you can uh, stuff inside it I don't know there was dresser when the cup mm, yeah <laughs> sorry Lydia right so we can make our way out now and that's really kind of all the work there is to it really guys but you know it, it's just a little bit different now this is where I normally save it because it can go really per shaped here with Lydia as usual because what I've got to do here now as you will see it's just coming up um, I've got to jump in here and Lydia it this is just really with Lydia it can be a pain in the neck so I'm um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it here guys um, and yeah I'm just going to jump in basically and make my way up here and there we are okay so Lydia's joined us and uh, let's make our way out guys then now here we are right we're in the dark now aren't we all right what time is it 10 past eight let's uh, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is get the torch no I need and actually I need to have that on anyway so 
So let's put the torch on. I can at least, to some degree, you can see where we're going. More for you guys particularly as well. Don't want it dark all the time, you know, on the video, it, you know. But we've we've done it, we've cleared it guys, so that's good. Just a nice little excursion really. Something a bit different. So we've had a bit of a taste really there now of Dwarven, Dwemna Ruin. Because um, we've not actually done a Dwemna Ruin, have we? Yet. We've not got around to that, but we will do. We, we will be doing. Um. Right, I'm pleased with that. We can um, my phone going off now. Well, messages and that it can't be helped from them things, isn't it? <laughs> but it's just going off all the jolly time. going the quick way here now guys just to get to white run as quickly as possible and then uh, can't do any real selling but the Khajiit are not there I think they went I, I'm not having a lot of success with the Khajiit guys I have to say I use this name right here actually as a little bit of a guide which is why I left it there really it's just a nice little crossing guide but it's quite useful <laughs> Can't hear Lydia's issues. So that's been a nice little excursion there, just to get that done. Uh, the other thing we've not done, we've not got the money off Pelagius. No, Pelagius. Um, oh, I, I, you know, guys, I keep forgetting the names of some of these. Preventus. For the uh, giant it's Secundus Kiss, so we've not got that. <laughs> But we can get that next time, can't we? I'll, I'll, I'll have to write that down so I don't forget. Because obviously we can't get another one. We can't get another one till uh, you know we hand that in. So Okay, here we go. So it's quarter past nine. All right, well, it's too late, I think, to try because that doesn't work much that anymore. The Duncan Huntsman, it doesn't really work very well. Um, it can go a bit glitchy that. Uh, right, come on then, Lydia. Let's uh, make our way in here. Uh, take that off. We've actually got a little bit of time, really, now. So I go. Still here. I'll head back home if you need me. Yeah. Okay. That's good because we can get on with this ourselves. We don't need Lydia with us all the time to hold our hand. All right, let's uh, let's get this up. Uh, that'll do. That'll do good. I'll offload um, off video. I'll do all that off video. I'm going to try and do small things off video because, but I, I do need to go and um, we've got time to talk to Preventius. So we can kind of do that now. Um, and then we can come back and sell a few things before we finish for this particular video let's just pray here as I like to do as often as I can we're a Talus follower 
by the, by our our very our background really our is in a sense our history our family history we were a talus follow as my father was obviously obviously guys you you will know if you followed it from the first one if you watched the first the very first one the introduction and made to um aragon Ectelin, who is the son the uh, the youngest son of baron Ectelin, who is the champion of cyrodiil uh, and of course i will be putting up i will be putting up retro oblivion in vanilla in its vanilla form as soon as i can i've got to figure a few Divine things out with it I'm really looking Take forward look. to doing that guys because it is my number one all-time great game I, no matter, I know I know it's crass I know there's things in it all the time that uh, you know but I love I love the little idiosyncrasies in it and the mistakes and everything you know I just love all that it doesn't bother me at all I can sell to this guy now as well which is great and get me money back I'm gonna sell the ebony so we got that many of them I'll keep two of each because I keep stuff for I'm, I'm silly like that I um, I keep stuff for Lydia as well uh, we need to enchant though as well don't we so we've got to watch out for that not sell too many of them we, we, could, do, we could do a bit more enchanting can't we um, gonna get rid of I don't know Let, let's first of all let's Just get rid of these first of all. Don't want to get rid of them. Make the same mistake I made a while ago. Sold a load of really nice one. We can do better than that, guys. Uh, don't want that. Yeah, that was from the one that we slew, wasn't it? So we can get rid of all them. Look at that, guys. We're into 72,673. Keeping all that. I know it seems it might seem a bit really weird, strange to you guys to be keeping some of this stuff, but yeah, I I just keep a lot of stuff like that. Right. Well, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Majors College in Winterhold. We know. Yeah. Let's have a look. I don't think I've got anything to do. Yeah. Well, I was right there. Uh, got some petty soul gems. Again, we're going to go to this one and make as much money as we can. If we can get to 96, that would be great. Um, yeah, we're going to do, yeah, no doubt about that, easily. Look at that, we are, we are so near now, guys. We are so near. That'll do, that'll do. And we can sell back to him. Come to Dragon. No. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. All right. So let's sell to him now. Make make a load more back. This is the beauty of this. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. The the rate we're going now, guys. We, we're Remember, your mind is oh, the no. best weapon you have. You see, we, we're going to be in 300,000 before we even know it. And where's Lydia again? She's disappearing all the time. Oh, do you know, do you know, guys, I'm so used to saying that. I really, it's prevented sound here. We left her at home, didn't we? <laughs> I'm so used to saying it, I am, because I'm so used to her being with me. All right, let's talk to Preventius. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Uh, yeah, and the Dial's brother's doing some funny little dance there. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Okay. 850. That's not bad, is it? Great. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. So we've handed that in. We've got some more soul gems. We sold everything. It's good. And we are literally right minutes away from the video finishing, so I've got to kind of uh, make a bit of headway here. Really, I don't want it finishing before we get on. So 
so let's make our way as quick as possible back to Bree's home good and here we go guys here we are Great, I haven't got the candles on, but never mind. Right, so guys, we've finished for, for this particular video. Uh, next time, who knows what will happen, we'll see how it goes. And uh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, do, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and of course, press that bell for more videos. And guys, keep well and keep safe, and enjoy your gaming. And uh, I'll see you next time. It's Maggie Hate signing out. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.